Hey guys, this is Saurav, wishing you a happy new year. Today I am going to showcase the transformation of this beautiful bike. So continue watching. This is a year old bike and it came to us after a long outstation tour. This heavy marring is due to a displaced tank bag. All the aluminium parts are heavily oxidized. Here you can clearly see the deposits in and around the engine. You can clearly see the poor condition of the transmission case. We start the decontamination process with a good rinse and scrubbing around the cylinder heads using a mild degreaser. The degreaser helps in breaking down the stubborn deposits from hard to reach areas. We applied a metal cleaner to remove the oxidation on the aluminium parts and left it to do its work. This cleaner is acidic in nature and breaks down the oxidation due to its chemical properties. All the chemicals are removed with a good rinse using plenty of water ensuring that none of the chemicals remain on the surface. Here we are using an iron remover to get rid of the embedded brake dust. These pink streaks show that the iron particles are breaking down. Next we scrub the brake calipers and the brake discs. Here you can see us cleaning the rims, taking care that we do not miss out on the areas in between the spokes. And finally, we scrub the tires clean using a stiff bristled brush. The wheels and tyres are rinsed to get a fab look. The switchgear accumulates a lot of grime that needs to be removed. Same action is performed on the foot pegs as well. Here we are using a leather cleaner to clean the seat. Notice the soft bristled brush being used to prevent any damage to the leather. Once we've attended to all the nitty gritties, we start with a contact wash on the bike. We use a pH neutral shampoo which is soft and gentle on the paint. A good rinse completes the decontamination process. We use air to get the water out of the switchgear, engine and all other nooks and crannies. The leftover water can spoil the ceramic coat and can even lead to water deposits once the water evaporates. Finally, the surface is dried using a soft plush microfiber. 
The decontamination on this bike is finally over and now we can start with the correction. We started the correction process by buffing out the oxidized aluminium parts using a metal polish. This is an extremely tedious and time consuming job, particularly because of the shape of the panels. We hand polished all the areas where the polisher could not reach. Since the tank had extremely heavy marring, we used an aggressive combination of hard blue compounding pad with a heavy cut compound. Even with this combination, it required multiple passes to get the tank looking good once again. The rest of the bike was compounded using a wool pad. Here you can clearly see I am not using any pressure, just allowing the pad and polish combination to get rid of all the marring. In this next step, we are using a fine finishing polish to refine the surface further. You can see that the tank has already started looking so good. All the damage left behind by the tank bag has been removed. The curved panels pose a challenge and you have to be careful while polishing around trim and logos. As a final step, we used CarPro Essence to get the gloss to the next level. Just look at the reflections on the tank as Essence does its magic. Essence is a primer polish and sets the base for ceramic coating. All painted surfaces get the magic of essence. On this bike, we applied the nanographene coating from Art to Shine. This is one of the first in the next generation of coatings with extreme slickness and life of up to 5 years. This coating is thick and viscous, so you have to be slow and deliberate in application. Even the leveling process is different and it requires 3 wipes for complete leveling. You use the first wipe to smear the product onto the surface and then with a damp cloth you level the coating. In the third wipe you remove the dampness or watermarks that might be left onto the surface. The same process is applied for every panel and you go panel by panel while application of this coating. All parts of this bike were coated using surface specific coatings. IGL Eclipse is a special high temperature resistant coating which is applied on all hot parts of the engine. This coating will prevent further recurrence of tarnishing and oxidation. It will also prevent fading of these black engine parts. The same coating is applied on the chrome exhaust to prevent rusting and to make the chrome really shine.
all the lighting elements were coated with eco coat headlight this coating prevents scratches and yellowing due to uv rays Here the rims are being coated with a specialized wheel coating. We coat each and every individual spoke. This is the level of detail that we go into. Here you can see the switch gear and plastic elements getting a ceramic coat. And here are the results after 2 days of hard work. Guys, thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. For continued uh, content, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification.